what's up the name is gently one and I'm back with more torchlight and the next floor down was actually the boss cavern so that's really interesting we get to fight the legitimate boss of the level so we turn that on turn that on so this looks this is genuinely scary I can see like vapor trails that look almost like the ghosts off to the side and even though this is the boss chamber we still start with some enemies to go kill so, I mean what kind of dungeon crawler would this be if we didn't have to have dun uh, enemies in our dungeons along with bosses. A pretty poor one, that's your answer. Come here. Just like those enemies were pretty poor compared to me. I'm practically overpowered, but that's how every dungeon crawler hero should feel. Especially if you have like side quests and stuff. But I'm starting to think side quests like should not exist. Like, in Fate, they made perfect sense, because if you weren't questing, you weren't getting experience, basically. That's what it amounted out to. Like, literally. If you weren't questing, you were getting negligible amounts of, ex of experience. Like, it wasn't even worth the time of day to start up the game if you weren't doing a quest. Which made it, like, kind of repetitive, but also at least gave you a goal. Because it was... It was always, go to this floor, do this, go to this floor, do this. And that's pretty much what the quests are in here, but at least they give you side dungeons for most of the side quests have their own little dungeons, so you can at least say they gave you a custom area for your side quests. A little bit of new scenery, as opposed to all the old scenery you would have gotten. And I'm ranting, we gotta focus back on the action. Breaking barrels, I'm legendary. The Skyrim people should honor me as my their Dova King. Because I named myself that. I'm clever. Oh. Big mana potion. Almost hidden behind the thingy. Oh god. Get out of dodge, get out of now. You were supposed to dodge that fireball. And that guy is legendary but doesn't have a legendary aura. Stop blocking my attack. He got owned. Wow. Legendary. Legendaries these days. You guys disappoint me. Is there anything I can steal? Heal. Yes. Okay, so my pet healed me. Whatever. It's too bad you can't allocate points to your pets. That'd be really nice if I could upgrade his spell mastery so, he, so I can like last longer without teaching him a better version of the spell because those are expensive. If you want a spell to be worth anything, it's got to be expensive. And that's really annoying. What is that over there? It's like a chimney stack eroding soul stuff. And I do believe, yep, we're about to face down the overseer of the crypt. Are you ready? Boss fight. Overseer. This guy looks legitimately scary, actually. Yeah. That was weak. He like attacked and it completely missed me. Look at that. He's using all ranged attacks. Get over here. But he uses all like extreme range attacks. It's like he's trying to aim at me and he's missing. It's like trying to use a howitzer at short range. It does not work. Because like you don't melee guys with artillery strikes. Instead, the melee guys kill you because you don't know what you're doing. Silly AI, tricks are for kids. And pro gamers. We need loads of stuff. My pack is full. My dosh holder is going to be even fuller. Let's see here. I can just smell the money with all these rares. Can you smell the money? I smell the money. No, no. No. That's nice. I get to eat the guy's eye to increase my health. Do it! It's gross, but do it! Yeah! Let's see. Nothing really good. Hold up, eight again. I missed one. Okay. Sell all of this stuff, and why haven't I still gotten a potion mod? I need to do that before my next sitting. I really don't even know why I would not do that. 
Whatever. I didn't get a level up or anything off of that. That's disappointing. So... Where do we go now? Okay. About to say, it's like there weren't any stairs up. Waypoint activated. You've released the Overseer from his madness. Now we we have killed the Overseer. Now we can investigate the library. Here are his, notes. his notes say he was looking he for an ember forge in a dwar uh, dwarven fortress. Oh, the fort. Fort's awesome looking. So he was expecting it would save him. So she'll come back to read, but we've got to go down. I think the next floor is the cool floor, isn't it? I don't know, but let's check out the library. There might be loot. There's no loot. This is incredibly disappointing. I'm disappointed in this game, but I believe I know what the next section is, so I'll go on anyways. Because I think, if I remember correctly, the next section is very cool because we get to choose our path here. The beauty of these sunken gardens. Yep, it's the sunken garden. Age of dust so decay. Alaric is wondering about the I sunken garden. Everything is corrupted, the same corruption and it's an ancient blight. Be responsible also, Alaric was apparently stupid because he's going to the bottom. Yep. Estherian or Etherian something. Uh, antechamber. We get to just go down here. Now we speak with Syl. These ruins. She's discovered these ruins. This is Estheria, and they apparently yeah, make up whatever her class is. So she activates these portals. And then we can go troll alone in the portals, and they act as floor. So she's activated those three floors, and then this one off to the side she's standing by leads deeper to the next tile set. So we've got to go through all three portals and grab the MacGuffin on the other end. Alright, so I don't know which one I want to go through, but we can explore. Bridge is broken here. No fishing point, which would have been nice, even though I don't fish. This is a really nicely designed little area. I enjoy hub areas out of everything out of all other games really. In my opinion, I just love hub areas because you can just run around like an idiot and admire the scenery. I mean, look at this. This is so cool. They had a whole fort here. And then like the fort broke open and it shows an entirely different building set. It's pretty cool how they mixed it. Good job, Runic. You guys deserve some medals. So... I'm going to end this here, even though this was a really short and boring episode, I suppose. But end it here, and we will pick a portal next time. See you then.